Presented by Fuel Off-Road Wheels. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we lost more stuff. <laughs> Who let the tailgate down? All right, guys, today is an awesome day. Why? Because I'm joined with Leroy here. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It, you brought out something that just I saw from very far away and was very interested in. Tell me a little bit about your rig. We just call it the monster buggy. I like to document all my builds and that was the the, th the title of the thread yeah. was the monster buggy. And monster now buggy. just everybody calls it that. This thing's insane. Like I was looking at it and the first thing that stood out to me was your axles. Yeah, yeah. Those things are giant, big old giant tires, rear mounted engine. Let's get into some of this stuff. What is this out of? What is it? What's going on? I haven't seen anything like this so before. So these are a military surplus axle. They're Axle Tech 4000 series. Uh, they're rated at nine ton. <laughs> they're, they're pretty stout, pretty beefy. They have a 684 to one ratio. So they're three to one in the planetary hub and then just under two to one in the ring and pinion. So there's more gears in here than just like a ring and pinion. Exactly. So the axle you said is military surplus out of what vehicle do you think? Uh, they call them an MRAP. Okay. And uh, in short, that's a, a mine resistant all persons carrier. So oh, okay. You're so, gonna so load troops in it, gonna run over a line, uh, you know, a landmine, might blow it, blow a uh, corner off of it or something. Then it should be serviceable at that point. That's and, and the biggest thing is, uh, you know, the people inside are protected. They're so. literally explosion proof. So with the big axle, you gotta have this crazy bolt pattern. Yeah, so that's 335 millimeter with a 280 millimeter pilot. This is super common in uh, overseas. I guess this is like the normal lug pattern for uh, over in the UK and whatnot for over road truck. Really? Yeah. So these wheels aren't like custom, they're something you can nope. get from overseas? No, these here actually, these are actually military wheels. These would be on the rig that these differentials were in. They're uh, manufactured by Hutchinson's. Oh, wow. They're a dual beadlock wheel. So they have a PVC insert in between the two beads. This row of bolts here sandwich yeah. the two halves of the wheel together, which is pushing that PVC insert out against the bead of the tire. So what are you normally doing with this thing? Uh, you see all that right there? We yeah. just, we'll go cruise around in that stuff. Oh, so it's a rock crawler type deal. For the most part. So you got Old Faithful on the trail. I see a Ford logo up there. I'm more of a Chevy guy myself. Sure. But I want to know about this thing because I heard it fire up and it sounds really snappy. Yeah, so this is uh, 460 based, but it's 513 cubic inch. It's about 10 and a half to one. For a guesstimated about 700 horsepower, not on the bottle, which you can see there's a couple of nitrous plates up there on the tunnel ram. I noticed that. Yeah. I noticed that. Fairly low compression, not like super high. Not not by today's standards. No, now most stuff's like 14, 15. Right. Like even if you're, if you're getting gnarly, you're going up like 15. Right, but way we, up in there. we also put 91 octane in it and drive around with it all day long. So yeah, if you're going pump gas motor. two mile an hour through rocks, yep. this is kind of overkill for that. Oh yeah, Would for you sure. Say? Hoonigan, help me build one of these. <laughs> Probably not. I don't see a lot of space back here for a bottle. Right. Where's your bottle? Yeah, so real estate is limited on this rig. Right here between there my, my co-driver's feet is where we have the bottle strapped down. So is he physically opening it up and turning it off? No, no, Giving no. you purges? It's not a bad idea. Nope, nope. <laughs> no, everything is controlled in the computer with the fuel injection. Josh has that set up. It sounds like you're gonna do all right today. The biggest thing probably would be the whoops. I mean, this thing is- Sure. I mean, it's, that's not this forte. You, you know got a I mean? lot of uh, unsprung weight here. Sure. That you're gonna be tossing around. Yeah, but... and then when your tires like fit in the whoops like perfectly, it's not like they can drive through them. <laughs> that's so. good, just go fast. You know, we'll probably do a lot of, of bumper, bumper, bumper out Yeah, there. yeah. Well, let's go check out who you got next. Right on. I 
I'm Georgia. We're here with someone that doesn't need any introduction because we all know if you hoon once, you can hoon again. Mars. And he's back again, Blake Wilkie. What's up? What's up? Stop. You brought us Jaws. 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 This is the first ever trophy truck build. Really? That has a bug body on it. This is your first one? My, your? my first one and the first one ever with a bug body on it. Okay, yeah, we uh, we were gonna say that this isn't really seen. What was done to make this happen? Uh, me and Kevin, uh, my partner on it, um, spent about five and a half years of our lives envisioning this and then executing. Never sucked on a map sensor before. Taking three shells um, and turning them into one to get the plug for the body. No way. From there, we designed the chassis in-house and built this whole thing in my shop at the Shark Den here, close to where we're racing in San Diego. Pop that up, let her hang. Got a little clip right here. Beauty. All right, pretty colorful going on under here. Come on. Get there it. she go. <laughs> Love taps. Oh. All no. right, supercharger, what's going on? Most trophy trucks have like a really expensive engine package. Yeah. Uh, being a broke ass kid. Please, sir, I want some more. More? We always had to find ways to make stuff work. That's what we so, like to hear. This is a LS base 427 resleeve block with a Magnuson 2650 on it. Makes trophy truck numbers, but it costs a fraction of the price. Sometimes it's not about the money, it's about the driver. Thanks. Yeah. Tell us about this setup because this is wild and they are massive. As a kid, you know, you're always kind of beating on hoopty stock stuff. So shocks are a big deal, um, especially on something that you're going hundred miles an hour through the desert with. Yeah. Um, this is the King coilover. That is a 3.0. Um, all springed and valve by SDG suspension paired with a 4.0 King Kong five tube front bypass. And that has, you know, adjustability in many compression and rebound zones for just fine tuning it in. Uh, this is a bump stop. So this is like the big oh shit. So like, oh, oh shit. The last um, few inches of travel make contact with the top of the spindle and kind of take those harsh heavy impacts to kind of soften the blow before blowing your back out. Oh. Just as expected, uh, this thing is just as sick on the inside as it is on the outside. You got all the bebops and boops and, and you know, buttons and levers and things. What is, what's going on? Um, center console right here holds our Holly uh, HP ECU, plus all of our brains for our Switch Pro. We have an eight button Switch Pro that does all of our engine management stuff. Then we have a 12 button Switch Pro that does all of the like chassis stuff. So like lights, heated seats, whip. Did you say heated seats? Yeah, we got heated oh. PRPs. <laughs> Okay. It gets cold in the desert sometimes. You're going through you the fancy. middle of the night. Yeah, keep them buns warm. <laughs> then we run a mob armor mount with a tablet on that side for my co-driver. Okay. Push to talk so I can talk to my, my crew in the pit. Kevin can also. Then we got a super loud ass cop siren to tell people to get out the way. Got a mob armor phone mount here. That's just in case if we get into sticky situations, it's always safe there. Moon handle locks up both rear tires so you can throw this girl sideways. b &M shifter, it's a gate shifter. Quick release PRP shreddy collab steering wheel with the uh, belts. Matching. Heck yeah, dude, this is rad. Like all the safety features and amenities that you would want, yeah. but uh, yeah, definitely built for performance. So the back half of this truck is equally as interesting as the front half of this truck. So what's going on? What's packaged back here? Tell us a little bit about it. Um, we have a heat exchanger cooler, a radiator cooler, transmission cooler, and an engine cooler. Everything's staying cool. So there's a whole bunch of spall fans keeping everything cool in the back here. We got a spare drive shaft, GPS, rear light bar, shark fin for aerodynamics. We got spare tires that are on top of our fuel cell that holds 80 gallons of VP racing fuel. Is this a SEMA Fest situation that happened back here? Yeah, I left it back there for cool points. I got Letterman's jacket and badassery, bitch. Basically, the inside of these fenders and everything were caked is from that 43 <laughs> second burnout for the man, Ken yes. Block. 
RIP and uh, I scraped all that off and I'm gonna save all that stuff and probably mason jar it up and That's do some dope, giveaways dude. and Hell yeah. see if anybody wants some old used rubber. She's sleek, she's mean, she's ready. Let's uh let's send it. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, so the rock collar obviously built for rocks. I think Wilkie easily got this thing. What do you think, Micah? I, I knew you were gonna say something stupid. Yeah, what do you want? I'm going with the FTA tuned mm. Leroy monster buggy, dude. What are you talking about? Leroy versus Blake, man. Man, they're both wild. I gotta go with Blake on this one, though. He's got that desert speed. We always have Beto come on, and everyone says, don't vote against Beto. Beto wins every time. But Blake is like the Beto of the off-road situation. So obviously, my money is going on Blake. Yeah. I don't Whoa. know, bro. But that's two wheel drive, Blake's. Yeah, exactly. Big determining factor in the dirt. Just like we see on the on the street show. Uh, I in the dirt, same thing. The all wheel drive versus the rear wheel drive. Speaking of dirt, difference. Yeah. Thank Blake for this one. Oh, thanks, Blake. Hey, Blake. Blake. You're the best, Blake. Even, even though Leroy may have lost, he stayed in it. So Wilkie got you by four trucks. Well, pretty, pretty well expected. I think I'll turn the nitrous on this time. Oh. You still okay. want to go heads up? I mean, you're you're one out of three so far. How about give me one truck? So one that, truck. One truck. And the hit. And the hit. Well, he just and gave you the hit. Okay. Not intentionally, but he wasn't oh. on the gas. Take what you can. Wilkie, is it cool if he gets two trucks? Give him four. Do you want to take it? Yeah, I'll take it. We're giving he him wants four. four. Blake Wilkie, you better put the beans on that thing. Turn it up. Round two. Straight up. Is that a heads up race? I, I think it's a heads up race. I applaud you, Leroy. That's a great finish. Come sucker. Yeah. Bro. That bottle's no joke, huh? That bottle had some hit. I knew he had some shit in the tank for it. <laughs> you see him go through the whoops? He stayed yeah. in it. I know. I, I was like, this motherfucker. <laughs> hey, how big's your bottle? Ooh. Straight, Straight up. up with a bottle on is what he wants. All day. All right. I mean business.
Holy. That was huge. I'm like, yeah. Fire, bro. <laughs> this guy is a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a maniac. Ladies and gentlemen, Leroy. <laughs> Boy, you buck, you was bucking and tucking. Treasure link flow, but. What the fuck? I was worried he was gonna start clucking. That, that thing is impressive. Yeah. Dude, dude, right? dude. <laughs> you won the all the hearts it. though, yeah. dog. Yeah, dude. Oh. You won all the hearts though, homie. Yeah. My heart too, dog. Well, yeah. Good job. We're that's, proud of you. that's also kind of sketchy. Thanks for having me. This dude, thanks for coming fun. out. Thanks for killing it. Guy. Thanks yeah. for staying on the throttle. This dude yeah. Yeah, made me use all those king shocks. I guarantee you go look at my bumps. They were like, because I felt it in my backyotomy. <laughs> not, in the, not in the back of the Back is broken. Uh, uh, a vertebrae or, or spinal? That was sick. Right. That was sick. Oh, he lifted. He would have just did that the second one. Dang it.